All right, welcome back to Sportsline. John Burton, Virgil Herring, our PGA Teaching Pro, Director of Golf at the Answorth School. We're talking golf as we get ready for the PGA Championship, with, which uh, gets underway uh, tomorrow, runs all weekend. Of course, we'll have third and fourth round coverage over on News Channel 5 all weekend. We look forward to that. And uh, one player that we know will probably never win a major is former NBA star, Hall of Famer Charles Barkley. That poor guy has been trying to get his swing down for years. It's actually gotten a little bit better. It has. But, uh, you know, you being the teacher to the stars, you, 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 know, you coached Brad Snedeker, you coach a lot of up-and-coming young uh, golfers. I want you to take a look at Chuck's swing here. We're going to put it up uh, on our screen here, and I want you to take a look and break it down for me. Here he is, Charles Barkley, ladies and gentlemen. What are we looking at well, here? Well, right now, he, he looks like he's set up way better. Oh, Like, what uh, is that? He's been doing that for years. Why so does he do that? That's an old swing. That's an old swing. That's like the, uh, <laughs> ooh, that's a, that's a significant uh, scratch in the record right there. That's a hitch in the get along. I think where that came from is that he was working with a coach who made him check swing a lot, hmm. like work on positions, and he got into this. Almost a yip, like he he was working on trying to find a position, and it's really not a wise decision to try to find a position while trying to go 100 miles per hour. Okay. And I think that he just got himself jacked up in a in a in a swing thought that was not serving him very well, and then because he kept hitting bad shots, it almost created like a a yip in his swing. He just became so So it's more of a mental thing. Yeah. So it's very impressive. Like, I saw his swing. Uh, he played in a tournament not long ago, and although he hit it all over God's green earth, mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't have that hitch anymore. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, when you're, when you're dealing with the golf swing, you have to understand that the golf swing is meant to move around you. So rotation is essential. Well, there aren't many things that can rotate, but you have to be able to rotate around your spine. So that means your hips and your shoulders. So you got a guy who's got bad hips from basketball. Right. Uh, he's stiff and old, and he's also tall. So generally speaking, although he, you know, there are tall golfers out there. Sure. There aren't many tall, stiff, injured golfers out there. Right. And so at the end of the day, Charles Barkley loves the game. He's getting better. He's never going to be a great player, but uh, he's trending in the right direction. But, oof, buddy, he can hit it. <laughs> he can hit it offline, man. Off but the line. best part would just be, you know, to go to the 19th hole with him after the round, right? To hang out with him and tell stories with him and yeah, have would, an adult beverage or two, right? I would imagine <laughs> that the stories that you hear on TV, on top of the stories that you don't get a chance to <laughs> yeah. hear on TV, would be well worth the price of admission. I, I love his candor on TV. I love his ability to... He breaks down basketball mm -hmm. brilliantly, and I love the arguments that he and Shaq Oh, they're to. great. They're classic. The, that, that's a great that's a great matchup for TV because love that, that show. they, they yeah. really do a great job there. Yeah. I just love like where, where sports broadcasting is right now. And obviously Gruden leaving Monday Night Football, mm -hmm. man, he brought a level of intelligence to he and Jaworski brought such Absolutely. a level. And then you got what Romo's doing. Like Romo oh, Romo incredible. is almost like inside a brain. Really good golfer. Tony Romo. Really good, yeah. So like you got these like in Barkley and how he covers basketball. And you get like the golf when you get good golf going on and you get here like Faldo mm -hmm. or Johnny Miller when he was on Azinger does a good job. When you catch him in the right Nolan moment. Begay does a really nice yeah, job does. for Golf Channel. When they get the opportunity to somehow feel like they can tell the truth mm -hmm. and they divulge what's going through somebody's mind. I thought Johnny Miller did that great, although he got on my nerves sometimes. <laughs> At the right time, Johnny would be like, here's what's going on right now. Mm -hmm. He's struggling with this. If he can pull this off, he's going to win the tournament. And if he did, he won. And if he didn't, Johnny looked like a, a genius because he predicted the trouble beforehand. Much like Romo did in the playoffs right, last year, and right. Barkley that made consistently him a star. does. Yeah. Is like they they talk to you about what's going to happen before it happens, and when it does happen that way, it just lets you know how awesome they were. All right, we've got about thirty seconds left in this segment. I just want to know for the folks out there that what's I guess not the number one golf tip, but if someone starting out wants to play, what's the first thing they should do? Well, the first thing that they have to learn how to do is pivot in the backswing. So when, when we've talked about many times on, mm -hmm. on the tips on, on Sunday Sports Central, is the ability to turn your lead shoulder, so if you're a right-handed golfer, to get your left shoulder to turn over your right knee without your right leg moving to the right. Okay. The pivot is absolutely essential to playing great golf. All right. We'll come back. One more segment with Virgil Herring. Stay with us.